The things that I think contribute to the sense of attachment that Princetonians have to the place are really hard to pin down. The first time a student steps onto the campus for an orientation, I think there's a sense of wonder and awe at this uh, indescribable beauty of the place. And it's not something that wears off. There's always a sense of discovery. I think that it is a, uh, a profound sense of identity so that it resonates with one's sense of being in the world because your sense of being in the world is shaped in these special years when you spend here as a student on the campus. And so your own sense of identity is tied to these qualities of the campus. And I think that's what makes it so special when people come back. It also makes it so interesting when they come back and they see changes because this place that was so uh, memorable has evolved. And I think that's an exciting moment when they see that. I knew about the campus quite a bit, but then when we were invited to come for, you know, basically kind of a competition of what we would propose to do, I think there were five of architects interviewed. I went down there and carefully, you know, thought about it just from that perspective of that place and what, you know, what we could make out of this program of a performing arts center. And I decided that it should be not just one building, but three buildings, three different buildings, and they would be connected, they would form a makosh-like courtyard, and they would be connected below in a forum, a place where you can interact with all the different arts, you can sit comfortably on leather cushions and work on your laptop like all the students do today, and you can have a coffee, and that's just a forum. The arts are fundamental to education, and I, I think that a university really is a place where if you go there to learn the deepest physics or mathematics that you should walk on your way through and see someone rehearsing dance and see someone playing the piano and maybe you'll be inspired to connect these forces together. One of the things about Stephen's architecture is from the beginning of his career he's been fascinated with the idea of the body moving through space and it's a really pure program of architecture it's just the experience of space and I think one of the things that makes Stephen uh, really exciting as an architect for, for Princeton is the tradition and the magic of the campus as a place where you just wander through very quietly, very slowly, and you have a magical sense of space. And that quality is really what Stephen brings to his architecture. Here you can see the relationship between Blair Arch and our gateway element. And you can see here, Alexander Hall is 105 feet in diameter, and our black box drum, stone drum, is exactly 105 feet in diameter. The proportions of the elements of our project are actually one-to-one -one in scale to existing pieces of the campus. To me, this is very important. It's human scale that gives us the feeling of spaces, and the intimacy and the relationships, they're all about sizes and scale and, and proportions. The history of Princeton as a university, as an institution, is really written into the architecture. Those names that are written into the stone of the campus form part of our vocabulary. I think the campus will always be special uh, to alumni in its iconic spaces. I think Nassau Hall, Blair Arch, McCosh Hall and McCosh Quad, Firestone and the Chapel, those are the kinds of spaces that are enduring. They will really, um, they seem like they will last forever. Our challenge is to create a new generation of architecture that has that same sense of timelessness and that same ability to endure and to inspire future generations of students. And I think that the, not all buildings have that opportunity or responsibility, but I think that the Lewis Center is one of those buildings that, that does have an opportunity and a responsibility to create the kinds of spaces that weave themselves into the fabric of your memory and your sense of identity on the Princeton campus. Mm -hmm.